Hi everyone, Lou Rosella here. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Um, for those of that know, this video is, is about my uh, reactions uh, and comments to what's trending for me on my Twitter page. Um, I have selected a few uh, just to go for about um, you know 10-15 minutes, um, and you get to see. Uh, what my reactions are and if I have anything to say about them I read a few I read some of the, a few of the tweets so without further ado guys let's take a look at what what's trending for me so let's take a look at first one here the first one we see is hashtag it's okay not to be okay so uh, looks like this is in association with uh, some mental health or mental health awareness day so um, yeah, I mean, I it's okay not to be okay. Uh, you don't have to always be happy all the time. Uh, you know, throughout the day, everyone goes through so many emotions and thoughts. So uh, let's see what some people are tweeting about this. Uh, this guy says, "You are stronger and valued more than you could ever know. You are perfect just the way you are, and you are never alone, despite what your brain tells you. Take care of yourself because you deserve it." So. You know, that's exactly what I was saying, you know, you you have so many thoughts throughout the day um, that sometimes, he, depending on your personality, uh, they might not be the best thoughts, but overall, you know, just keep, keep living day by day. Another one says, today is World Mental Health Day. It affects us all, no matter who you are, where you come from, or what you believe in. Forget the stigma. It's okay not to be okay. And so, yeah, that's a, that's a true saying. Um, this one just says that today you were loved originally drawn last year. You matter. So, now let's do one more. Um, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Well, let's remove the stigma. Yes, guys. Um, you know, uh, physical health is just as important as mental health. It completes the whole body. So, um, if you're ever experiencing any kind of mental issues or not feeling well, definitely um, seek out help. There's no shame in doing that. And um, a better you is, a better overall you is uh, done mentally, physically, and uh, overall. So, let's take a look at another one that's uh, that I picked out here. This one is hashtag Minneapolis Trump's rally. So President Trump uh, visited um, Minneapolis uh, for a, a campaign trail or something like that, and um, I believe he was uh, met some resistance uh, from the mayor saying that he wasn't welcomed um, eventually he said he would be welcome but then there are million, there are hundreds of protesters uh, out there um, you know President Trump is such I said it before President Trump is such a bipolar character you either love him or hate him um, and the people are, are definitely showing that there's people outside the Target Center which I believe is where it's being held with signs and there's people inside uh, the target center listening to President Trump with signs so um, but you know at least um, politics is in the is in the talk and you know things definitely need to get done and uh, it's it's an interesting to see the atmosphere so supercharged because of President Trump I'm gonna read some of these um, tweets that we see uh, let's see if I can read some so apparently uh, Pres Vice President Pence is also there and did his remarks at Trump rally in Minneapolis, Minnesota and it uh, looks like it's a good warm welcome uh, let's see here tens of thousands of families are standing in the rain to protest 45 uh, that's President Trump he's the 45th President of the United States this is what democracy looks like yes um, Democracy is a great thing for this country. Some of the crowd outside Target Center. It looks like a pretty big crowd. More pictures of the, of the protesters. Easily looks like, you know, 150 to 200 people in this area that I see. Uh, let's see what else we see here. Is now trending in DC. What the heck? Okay. Uh, a lot of this hashtag has to do with protesters in the area. It's a pretty uh, funny signs all right let's go to another hashtag this one is hashtag 
Rihanna is Jamaican. So this is interesting because I always thought that uh, Rihanna was from Barbados or I don't know where I heard it, but then apparently she is Jamaican or has her uh, nationality is on paper is Jamaican. Um, she was, I think she even tweeted herself, unless it was a false tweet, let me try and find it, that she is Jamaican. Find it now, but I saw that she is. There's even pictures of her passport. So Rihanna here. Here's one where it says it's confirmed. We're making. Rihanna is Jamaican. What more proof y'all need? And it's a picture of her passport. There's another picture of her, a younger Rihanna, um, and her passport. Uh, and then this is Rihanna's tweet saying, "Bajans are acting up again. Y'all really thought I was from." Barbados? LOL. I was born and raised in Jamaica, so don't ever disrespect my homeland again. And that's from, I guess, Rihanna's uh, own Twitter account. So, guys, Rihanna is Jamaican. <laughs> uh, what else? So, a lot of people are shocked or surprised. Uh, I myself thought she was from Barbados. I don't know where I heard that, but now I stand corrected. I know that Rihanna is Jamaican. All right, let's go to another hashtag. Uh, hashtag looking for hope. So uh, this also has to pertain to World Mental Health Day. And the other uh, hashtag that I had, which was it's okay not to be okay. Uh, looking for hope. Hope is always a good thing to have. You know, hope is defined as um, something, something, <laughs> something to look forward to. So. Um, let me see if I can read anything, any good uh, tweets out here. Here, let's see. I wish I could find hope in a doctor that would prescribe me the right meds I need. Yes. Um, you know, mental health and prescribing the right meds is such a hard thing to do. There's so many th uh, medications out there, um, and each one has their own s side effects. So finding the right meds is very important. So as a patient, taking meds, you definitely need to communicate to your doctor uh, how the medication is affecting you. What you like about the medicines and what you don't like about the prescription meds. I would love some daisies. Okay, let's see here. Hey, I, lo I love looking for hope promo. I want to participate. Okay, this is really great. Looking for hope. Thank you, World Mental Health Day. Looking for hope. I would love to send daisies to my boyfriend. So I guess uh, daisies, in particular daisies with the green instead of yellow center, uh, is also being associated with this hashtag. So that's it, guys. Let's move on to another hashtag. Hashtag how not to answer the phone. <laughs> this is going to, I thought this would be an interesting one. Uh, let's see what some of the tweets are. Let's go to the top here. So, what, with a question like a telemarketer, are you working? <laughs> That's true. Let's see another way. Hello, this is R. Kelly's, R. Kelly's studio. How may we help you? Huh, not funny. Mike's meats, what's your beef? <laughs> That's a funny one. Who dis? Here's another one. This is Morpheus. I told you never to call this number. Uh, here's a funny one. Uh, goodbye. How not to answer the phone. Uh, this one. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? The old uh, Lionel lyrics from the old Lionel Richie uh, music song. Uh, this is Rachel from Card Services. That's funny. I have free pizza for you. I'll read one more before we move on to the next one. This is 911, sorry, but if you're in an emergency, please press 1. <laughs> Funny. Alright. Let's go to another one. 
here's uh, free hashtag free Kesha Kesha is the singer and um, this is pertaining to uh, her suit against her producer Dr. Luke I believe she accused him of um, rape and she wanted to get out of the agreement and it was denied I believe so there's a picture of Kesha crying this is not the face of a liar this is the face of a woman who is being trapped under a legal binding contract and is having her career manipulated with her with by her rapist this is America so that's um, unfortunate for Kesha uh, you know if legal documents this case kind of really sucks but uh, this person says disgusting that this is still happening I've stood with this strong woman for almost 11 years and I will continue to do so um, another person wrote I find it ridiculous for anybody to assume that they know if Kesha was being honest or not especially given how many false accusations there are these days maybe she told the truth maybe not don't have seen you know that's true um, I don't know but in this case I believe uh, Kesha Kesha suffers a legal setback in Dr. Luke defamation lawsuit. That's what it is. It's a defamation lawsuit. All right. Um, let's go on to the next hashtag, which is hashtag end the stigma. Let's see what this pertains to. Again, it looks like it's uh, World Mental Health Day. So it looks like there's a lot of hashtags dealing with um, mental health. I guess it's because it's World Health Day, Mental Health Day. So this is nice, uh, right here in this tweet, you can see both It's Okay Not To Be Okay and as well as End The Stigma is on here as well as World, Me World Mental Health Day. And Looking For Hope. So I also had Looking For Hope and they all had to deal with mental health. Again guys, uh, mental health is also just as important as physical health. So it's good that they're bringing this awareness to this. Let me read some of the tweets that I see here. Uh, don't shame people for their choice of choosing cannabis to help their medical health and mind. It's my body, my choice. Uh, my character is stronger than the brutality of your ignorance. Have a conversation about mental health today to help end the stigma. Mental health is just as important to take care of, of as your physical health. Yeah, like I've been saying for, like I've been saying throughout this video. All right, last one we'll take a look at is hashtag Thirsty Thursday. Hmm. So, so let's looks like it has to do with hopefully drinking water. Uh, Thirsty Thursday can really wipe out the cellar. Uh, nose goes Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. Not sure why this is trending. Looks like it's just drinking alcohol, which I would rather be drinking water. A nice Thursday, 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 Thursday pick to demonstrate how thirsty I am for one more fight this year. We got a call and I, I was down to do 125 or 115, but it looks like the guy will be okay with me. Good for them, I guess. Let's talk about a UFC fight. All right, so I'm not sure what hashtag Thursday Thursday is about. I'm assuming it's about alcohol. I would like to think it's about water, but that's about it. And with that, guys. Um, that ends this uh, video on my reactions on um, Twitter, what's trending for you on Twitter. Uh, thanks guys for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe to help this channel grow. And um, this is Lucy Rossell. Thanks again for checking out my YouTube channel. I'll see you on the next one. Laters.